house had found the servants hold that he had been sick. Now I welcome Anita and T in the name of the Lord to share the word of God. Bible says, today is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad. How many of you rejoice today? Amen. So we are so happy when the kids are standing and singing and doing the praise and worship. It's an excellent job they did. It's nothing but we are lifting our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ's name. All the glory and honor and everything goes to our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ today. Today we are in the very important session. We are going to hear the word of God. Before that, I would like to praise God for this wonderful opportunity God gave me. This is the great privilege. I'm thanking God for that. And one more thing, I'm thanking God for the Sunday school coordinators. This is nothing but our own wish. I thank God for the God's will. Let's all close our eyes and bow our head for the word of prayer. Heavenly Gracious Father, thank you for this wonderful afternoon of Father God. Father God, we are going to meditate your word of Father God. Lord, please hide me of Father God. Whatever the word you need to speak, whatever the word we need to meditate of Father God. You minister us of Father God. <coughs> Let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. I pray this prayer in the name of our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Today we are going to meditate the topic called Great Faith. So how many of you did you pay attention to the gospel reading, the second reading? So our little children, he, Jerry, he came and read um, Luke chapter 7 and verses from 1 to 10. Um, all the little children, if you could Please stand there with me. If you could send them in the front, that would be great. Whoever is can pay attention to that uh, sermon. Otherwise, you would stay with your parents. This is your time, kids. Come forward. Please bear with me. Come forward, little kids. Please feel free to sit in the floor, that's okay. Thank you kids, you are doing an amazing job. That's okay, you can sit on the floor. Awesome job, awesome job. See, when uh, Jerry read like a centurion servant healed, you know centurion, he has the great power, he has great authority and his servant, he was so sick, he was so close to centurion, he was about to die. At that time, you know, he heard about Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus can heal my servant. So he sent a couple of Jewish elders to the Jesus. And the Jesus, the Jewish elders, they went to Jesus and they said to Jesus, Jesus, this centurion is so deserved for this servant healing. You know why? He loved this nation very much and he has built the synagogue. Synagogue means Jewish temple called synagogue. He has built a synagogue for us. Jesus said, okay. Then he said, Jesus and all the disciples, so they went to the centurion's house. They are about to close to the centurion's house and a couple of centurion's friends, they came and met Jesus. They said, this is what our master and centurion told to 
tell you Jesus, I'm going to say whatever the centurion, our master, told you to say. Number one, they said, Jesus, I'm not worthy. You are the great master. You could come into the house. I'm not worthy. Number two, he said, this house is also not worthy. That means I want to make a pass here because he humbled himself. First of all, he had the great power, great authority, but he humbled himself. If he could call the servant, hey, servant, do this. Hey, servant, do this. They can do that. But he humbled himself and he said, I don't want to see Jesus Christ because I'm a sinful man. I'm a sinful man. So I want to send my friends to send to Jesus. Jesus, please, my servant needs to be healed. But one thing I could say, I am not worthy to come and see you. At the same time, my house is, my roof, this is not also worthy. But you say one word, Jesus, wherever you are, you don't need to come to my home, wherever you are, just say one word, my servant will be healed. What a great faith. You know what Jesus said? I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. What a great faith he showed to Jesus. Amazing. The centurion never seen any Jesus miracles before. But he trusted Jesus can heal him. And he trusted, he him humbled himself in front of Jesus. Next, this is the woman called Canaanite. She is a Canaanite woman. You know, the Canaanite woman, one day Jesus was walking on the pathway with his disciples. The multitudes are following Jesus. You know what the Canaanite woman, she begged him earnestly, Jesus, Jesus, please, son of David, have mercy on me. You know why she called Jesus? Because her daughter is demon possessed, evil possessed, evil spirit was in her daughter. But she called Jesus, son of David, son of David, have mercy on me. Please help me, Lord. She, she knew nobody can help her. She said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And she begged him. She fell on Jesus' feet and she cried. And all the disciples and multitude, you know what they did? She cries after Jesus Christ. Do not disturb our master. She always cries after us. And she didn't give her faith. She said, Jesus, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. My, my daughter is demon possessed. You know what Jesus said? And she, he didn't reply. I was really amazed. Wow, this lady is crying so much. Son of David, have mercy on me. Why, she, why Jesus didn't reply to her? And, you know, after I read the whole chapter, I got an answer. And immediately Jesus, second time, he, she repeated the same thing. And Jesus was a little quiet and he opened his mouth and he said, How I could serve the little children bread into the little dogs? I was really stunned when I read the verse. Watch, Jesus is trying to say, so it means she's a little dog or I didn't really understand understand the real meaning, what Jesus is trying to say. And second thing, when Jesus said, it means he, she, Jesus want to show her faith. Jesus want to show her faith. She begged Jesus and said, Jesus, even the little dog can eat the breadcrumbs from the master's hand. You know the house, house dog will do? They will wait for the master's hand. They will wait for the breadcrumbs. They won't grab or anything. They will wait and they will earnestly wait. Oh my, when my master will feed me like that. So Jesus said, wow, woman, you are great. Great is your faith. That's what Jesus said. What a great faith she showed to Jesus, right? One thing. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. That's what the centurion did. That was the Canaanite woman did. And next thing, Jesus said, this is Jairus. 
and Jairus' daughters, and this is um, multitude. And Jairus is the ruler of the synagogue. He knows all the rules and commandments and everything. And Jairus' daughters were so sick. She was about 12 years old, like our young little children, 12 years old, right? And she was about to die. Jairus heard about Jesus. Jesus was walking with the multitude. And Jairus realized, oh, maybe that Jesus can heal my daughter. Then he went and he begged and he fell on his feet and he said, Jesus, come and heal my daughter. If you could come to my home, my daughter will be healed. That's what Jesus said. And when they were talking, you know, that time, a couple of Jairus friends came and they said, do not disturb our master. Your daughter is all, already dead. Already died. No, no, no worries. Please, do not disturb your, ma do not disturb the master. Please leave him away. And Jesus said, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Only believe. Only believe. And Jesus, James, Peter, and the, both the parents, they went to the Jairus' daughter's home, and Jesus said, just believe. See, when man says it's impossible, with God, all things are possible. That's what happened. All the Jairus' friends, they came and they said, your daughter is already dead. But Jesus said, do not be afraid, only believe. They believed, and Jesus said, Talitha kumi, rise little daughter. She just woke up, just give her some food. That's what he said. And the final thing, the 12 year, the, lead, the lady has the bleeding disorder. She tried everything. She tried the doctor. She tried every medicine. She spent all her money. She tried everything. Maybe she could try to give her faith too. That's what we can think. But she didn't give her faith. One day she heard about Jesus. Jesus was walking with his multitude and his disciple. She, she thought, okay, today I will go and see this Jesus. Probably I could tell all my problems that Jesus can heal me. So she went and she, on the way she saw so much crowd. Oh, this is too tough. How could I reach that man? That Jesus is walking on the rock, that corner. How could I reach? But she didn't give her faith. She walked and walked and walked. And finally she grabbed the tip of the Jesus garment. Jesus turned and asked, who touched me? See, his disciple and his multitude was asking, what, who touched me? So much crowd, Jesus. What is Jesus is thinking? Who touched me? So much crowd, there is no space to move. But Jesus is asking, who touched me? But this lady came forward and she said, Jesus, I touch you because I have the faith. Jesus said, yes, your faith made you well. I, I knew some power is released from me. I know that your faith made you well. And, you know, so far we saw the centurion, the Canaanite woman, and the bleeding disorder lady, and the Jairus. These are all the great, great example from the Bible. And, you know, this one, Jesus and his disciples both were traveling in the boat. Jesus was sleeping, sound sleep. Jesus was sleeping and his disciples were sitting close to Jesus. And suddenly the windstorm came. Like that. The waves beat in, into the boat. The boat was shaking like this. And everybody was scared. scared. If some windstorm, Sandy came, right? We all scared. There is no power. So we all scattered in one place and we cooked and we ate. But we were so scared. Like all the disciples, even though Jesus is sitting close, Jesus is sleeping close to them, they were so scared. And already all the water get, got into the boat. They were so scared. They don't know what they can do. You know what they said? Master, Jesus, wake up, wake up. 
Don't you care about us, Jesus? We are perishing. Wake up, wake up. You know what Jesus said? Jesus woke and said to the den and see, Peace. Be still. He calmed the wind. He rebuked the wind. Peace. Be still. And he turned and see, see the disciple and he told, Why do you so fearful? See, because the centurion and the Canaanite woman and the 12 year, the bleeding disorder lady and the jailers, they heard about Jesus. They didn't see any miracles. But all the disciples, they went with Jesus wherever Jesus was walking. They saw, the, they saw all the signs and wonders what happened before their eyes. But they got scared. When the windstorms came, they got scared. They were so fearful. They were shaken like anything. Jesus said, Why are you so fearful? How is that you have no faith? See, they, they heard about all the miracles, right? 